I've got the form done and I'll show you exactly how I measured that in just a little bit. But what I want to show you right now, here, check this form out. Look at this. Just I just used some old 2x4s and it's going to be perfect. It's going to work out just great. But I want to show you something that's really important about it, how we figured how deep to make the hole. So here's what you need to know. The, the blacktop driveway is pretty much in the same plane, so I can take a straight edge like this level and just set it on top of here, and it would project the line of the blacktop, you know, which is the underside of the level here. What I want is I want the form to be about a half inch below that level. That's really important to me. And because I want some fall on this blacktop into the form. Then I want the actual top of the drain to be three quarters of an inch below the top of the form. And then I want four inches of concrete underneath the drain. So the drain is four inches high. So if you add all that math together, you get that the hole here should be about nine inches deep. And so that's what it all adds up to, approximately nine inches. And look at this. It's just about there. It's eight and three quarters of an inch. Not bad. It's really, really close. So I may have to just scrape a little bit of mud out of here, you know, a little bit of dirt. And that's how you determine how deep you know, to make the hole. And it's really important that you make it that deep. You want to get a good four inches of concrete underneath, you know, underneath the, uh, the drain, make it nice and solid. And then all we have to do is double check, make sure the depth's right all the way across, set the form in place, and then make sure that the top of the form is a half inch below here all the way along. And then we're going to be really, really close, you know, to uh, pouring concrete. In the next video, I want to show you exactly how I determined how big to make the form. I'm sorry about this harsh sunlight, but that's the way it is. You know, when you work outside, you got to deal with the sun, the rain, the clouds, whatever. So look at this. Here's the, here's the drain inside the form, so I can kind of show you what we're doing and how I determined everything. I wanted to make sure that I had about four inches of concrete on this side of the form and at the ends, and that's what you'll see here. So the concrete is going to come here and wrap all the way around and come all the way to here. This gap here, once the form is removed after the concrete set, so from the distance from right here to out here is going to be filled with a blacktop patch. There will be concrete kind of underneath here. You'll see that happen when we pour it. And that will provide a really nice base you know, for that blacktop patch that I'm going to put in, you know, after we, after we pull the form out. But the blacktop patch is not going to go in for probably, you know, a day or two after the concrete set. So this is how I determined how big to make the form. You know, you had to have this in place, take the measurements, and I just happened to know that I wanted, you know, this much concrete between the edge of the form and the edge of the drain. It's really that simple. It's not hard to do. If you're off a half inch or an inch, it's not going to make a big amount of difference. Don't worry about that. I've got the form set and we're just about ready to pour concrete. It's really pretty exciting. The weather's going to cooperate. Uh, before there was a threat of thunderstorms, that was a bother for me. That was a worry because all the water would come this way and get onto the new concrete, so you don't want that. So you really got to make sure that the concrete's not going to get wet, uh, you know, if, if, before it sets up. All right, so here's what we've got. Remember I told you I wanted the top of the form below the blacktop, and it's exactly where I want it. You can see that it's recessed. Uh, I put a little torpedo level at each end, and it's tilted just a little bit. You know, it's got a little bit of tilt so that this end is a little higher than this end, which is good because I want the water... To flow into the drain. I don't want it. I don't want it to be tilted back this way. That would be bad. Okay. So now, a couple of things. Um, here's a really neat. Here's that little screed board I cut. Check this out. The distance from here to here is four and three quarter inches because that's what I want it to be. You may decide to do something different at your house. Uh, and and of course, this is cut a little less than here. So what'll happen is. And you'll see it as we put the concrete in. I'll be able to use this board to slide along 
you know, to make sure that the concrete's all at the same level and it's parallel with the top of the form. That's really important so that the top of the drain is exactly where I want it and it's parallel. Really, really important. Finally, I had some old pieces of uh, four foot long angle iron. I'm going to embed these in the first layer of concrete down below to stiffen it up. It's, you know, it's, it, why not recycle it? I don't need to go out and buy rebar, half inch rebar. This will do a good job of uh, making the concrete nice and strong. And I've got some little corner pieces you'll see that we're going to put in once we start to put the concrete around the drains. So it's time to mix the concrete. Let's go do that right now because I want to talk a little bit about mixing concrete so you get it right. If you want to discover more home improvement tips, go to askthebuilder.com.